So I'm preheating my oven to 350 to accommodate our big mess of yumness. Hi, I'm Mo. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, today I'm cooking for you a breakfast frittata. Breakfast is not just for breakfast, it's for supper. So my husband thinks. We got breakfast sausage going. And I have potatoes I'm going to fry up. And I have evaporated milk mixed with water. And I have pepper gravy mix, about a one cup of that. And over here I've got a dozen eggs beaten up and some shredded cheese, like right there, and some green onions, like four of them, and I'm gonna fry it in bacon grease. And we got some bacon bits here. Yeah, so in this pan, I'm gonna start the fried potatoes, which will go in this paper lined cast iron skillet, which I bake in the oven for like uh, 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna get started here, okay? So we'll just have some fun cooking. It will be crunchy, fried, crispy, bacon fried potatoes with the sausage and with this gravy and with the eggs. You guys are going to love it. One time, I was a school cook for like 18 years. One time, I worked in a daycare cooking. And one time, I worked in a nursing home cooking. And then one time, I worked in a store and I made lots of guacamole. So there's potential for many items that I could show you to cook. Okay? So hang with me. I know what I'm doing, even though it doesn't look like it. Now you want to get a little bit of crunch on your potatoes. So let them sit in there a little bit in that oil, the hot oil, let, let them cook a bit so you get a little crunchiness. Okay, and then we've got our sausage about done, and I'm going to start putting the milky gravy in it, the pepper gravy. Okay, here's our gravy mix and our milk. I'm going to whip that up before I pour it into the gravy, or into the meat. The sausage is broken up in the over here. We'll add it to this. Okay? Hope I'm not making you too dizzy. I'm not the neatest cook, but it tastes good. Okay? I'm just telling you, it tastes good. Okay, so I'm preheating my oven to 350 to accommodate our big mess of yumness. The skilletness. They see the potatoes are getting brown and crunchy. I've got the gravy mix in with the meat. And all the other things are waiting to be put together. You want to get a little bit of crunch on your potatoes. So let them sit in there a little bit in that oil, the hot oil. Let, let them cook a bit so you get a little crunchiness. Okay, and then we've got our sausage about done. And I'm going to start putting the milky gravy in it, the pepper gravy. So there's our fried potatoes, all ready for topping with gravy and eggs. So I'm going to put this down for each separate component. See, they got some nice crunch on there. See that? And I put a little bit of pepper or salt on them. I'm not going to put much pepper because the gravy mix has pepper in it. Okay? Hang on. Okay, so I added a little bit more moisture to this because it was like concrete. It was pretty thick. So you don't want it really thick because you're going to throw it on top of these potatoes. And it's going to make this wonderful emulsion. There it is. Okay, my friends. This is it. It's done. It was 30 minutes, but you might want to test it. I may test it a little bit, but I know I'm going to bake this again for my family to warm it up when they eat it. So they'll probably zap it in the microwave or sit it back in the toaster oven. So it looks really yummy, and it is. It's got all the components that people love for breakfast, and it's all complete. You hey, guys, here it is. Look at that luscious thing. Okay, and it, it, have a great day and enjoy. I'm eating this breakfast potato. Shout out to Martin and Kelly down in Missouri. Um, boy, this is really good. Scrambled eggs, sausage, um, fried taters, and gravy. Man, it is good. Man, it seems like a pie. That country woman of mine, she just cooks cook for me all the time. Yeah, I'm telling you what, this is for Todd's